Hi everyone the workflow and the flux model today i bring is pretty amazing it creates very realistic images without changing the composition much from what we would uh, like expect from a flux model and it also does not deform the hands that you would have faced this problem with a lot of loras that you use that the hands start getting deformed when uh, the strength is higher so this model does not have that problem it is almost similar to what original flux generates now i would like to like mention something this is uh, the flux model lumia and uh, i am actually one of the creators of this organization and uh, we create like different loras we fine tune uh, llm chat models and this is the first time that we are working on a uh, uh, flux model right so like a complete flux model which is not just lora and uh, this is the alpha version i have worked on this and this does not mainly focus on fine tuning with images and uh, the approach that was opted for this one is mainly like uh, playing around with the different blocks so you know there are like double block single blocks uh, in flux so if you play around with them and uh, like uh, you can get pretty amazing results so we started playing around with the blocks and then we created this model so i would like to show you the generations i have like a huge comparison with the normal flux as well as what we created with lumia and here you can see we also have this like complete workflow where you can compare yourself and uh, also i have mentioned it here try uh, to use it with at least 28 or like 30 32 steps i am using 35 here because this is like 1024 width and height so i was using 34 steps here for both of them normal flux as well as uh, our lumia one thing that you need to remember is that this version is the fp8 version so it actually works uh, on like even 8 gb vram as well it would be slightly slower so currently uh, we only have the fp8 version but uh, i would try to see if it like uh, produces good results with ggf as well but the fp8 versions are actually pretty good so that is why i have uploaded this other than that i have also provided this complete workflow here i'll give the all the links will be in the description so don't worry about it and you can see you can find the json uh, for the workflow here so the thing is here you can see you can actually use uh, the guidance of 3 as well as 2.7 here you can see i have used both them both of them so in the first one i am using the guidance of 3 and in the second one you can see i am using the guidance of 2.7 and we have all of these comparisons so i'll just show a little bit about this workflow as well so it is nothing but the normal uh, dev model our flux dev model and here is the lumia and everything else is same now you can use the ggf version of uh, text encoders or you can use the, uh, other versions as well the higher the better the realism uh, is pretty good if you take like good quality encoders but uh, here i am using the q6 version of ggf and still you can see the results are amazing now the prompt is same everything is same and here you can see the like, the seed is also same for this and now this is particularly the image that was created with normal flux and as you can see although it is detailed and the skin has the texture there is still a little bit of that painty kind of effect everything like you know uh, the main thing which i was thinking about while generating all these images are that normally when we take images there is a little bit of chaos in it you know uh, uh, like randomness and which lacks here and when you see this the composition is almost same there is no difference but i just want to show you look at this and then look at this the randomness is pretty high the nose and everything does the, uh, just look at the lips here and then you can look at the lips here as well and you can see even the teeth and everything are not deformed but there is more randomness 
it feels like it is like a real photograph the textures you can see the eyes you can see one thing that this model slightly improves is that uh, normal flux model tries to create the eyes that are little bit big and i understand maybe that looks cute or that is like the anime uh, aesthetic that people like but uh, when we are creating original images the eyes are slightly different so you can see that the eyes are little bit different right even here when you see like the wrinkles and everything it adds a little bit of more realism other than that you can also see like the randomness with the hair the texture the randomness with the hair and anything it looks pretty amazing the color streaks uh, just look at these color streaks and these hair and then look at this it kind of tries to smooth out everything which makes a more like airbrushed feel and it also improves the texture of this like woolen uh, top that she is wearing right and uh, as you can see this is 1024 so uh, getting this kind of effect is pretty amazing when compared to this you know and uh, another thing which you need to remember when we click photographs in real world it sometimes have very slight noise and pixelation and this model produces in some images you can find a little bit more noise but uh, you can change the seed and it produces pretty well right so this is it for th this and you can compare it uh, with any prompt i'll give this particular like uh, workflow now let's come to the original comparison that i have done let's start with here and remember all of these were actually with similar pro uh, same prompts and s exact same noise so uh, one thing which i need to show you is that in some images you will find that it is almost the same only the texture is different but in some places you will find that the background and other things are changing and i'll mention why the things uh, firstly if you include cinematic prompt cinematic images or anything like cinematic related Uh, the lumiere has a tendency to slightly move towards a background with natural uh, like scenery like uh, either it would be a forest tree something like that if you don't mention the background if you mention the background no issues so these all are with the guidance of 3 so here you can see the normal dev 1 looks like pretty like uh, painted and here is the lumiere right so the same prompt exactly same prompt and you can even see that it is the exact same pose but the realistic uh, you know textures are pretty pretty amazing now let's come to this one as well and you can see the same thing and this is what i was mentioning if you see there are like no deformities with the finger right and if i show you with lumiere it does not deform the hands as well you can see even the fingernails and everything according to the size of the image are pretty good there is no deformity in that and uh, even you can see uh, like the muscles and anything are like pretty realistic so it does not create like you know uh, sometimes you will find the overgrown muscles or uh, like more extreme abs which you can feel that it is not natural and uh, that is something which this model tends to fix and uh, it, it always has a tendency to move from uh, just plain background to something like more uh, realistic so if you want a plain background try to prompt it uh, with a plain background now uh, let's come to this one you can see that uh, for the same noise and same prompt Uh, it is almost similar the blurriness is slightly very slightly uh, less if you compare it with the photo frame here and here you can understand that but it still maintains the depth of field but uh, not like completely blurring it so this is something which i find is pretty amazing here same goes for these two images you can see that uh, it generally produces more interesting uh, backgrounds now with that being said there are again like sometimes with the same prompts you'll find obviously it is improving the textures and everything 
but uh, you'll also find that uh, the composition has slightly changed uh, changed and this would not be for every image but uh, sometimes obviously because it is on the different model so yeah and here also you can see even for the same composition the realism actually increases for the skin compared to this the left ones are any of these left images are of lumiere also if you compare the plants and the trees you can see there is a slight very slight decrease in the blurriness so it uh, maintains the depth of field but not to an extreme level that flux has the tendency to so this is it now this is something uh, which i included knowingly this is an image where the fl uh, flux messed up with the fingernails you can see and uh, the flux me messed up the fingernails and here you can see when you use lumiere for the same prompt and the same uh, seed it also messes up but it does not actually increase the problem so it is all almost similar or tries to like you know fix it rather than completely like messing up but the textures and everything are also there so if you see the lips and anything the paint brush effect versus this skin texture so it creates that realism it provides a different background for the same number of steps and same seed same prompt everything but uh, obviously if the flux is going to generate something deformed it tends to uh, produce similar results for same uh, parameters this is another one one thing you can obviously see whenever you use something like cinematic or like a movie scene or something like that it will almost always try to move away from a simple plain background to something with actual so that should be the case because in terms of prompt coherency uh, when we talk about cinematic shots they are not generally against a plain colored wall so it is a good sign now let's come to these and these were created with the guidance of 2.7 everything else is same so again the left ones are lumiere and the right ones are flux dev model so here you can see a very slight improve with the skin textures and everything same goes for here as well it uh, kind of increases it fixes like uh, here are these two strings it fixes all of these so this is something now here you can see it is pretty pretty evident that this looks a little bit ai generated but this looks very real the lumiere one just look at the detailing on the glass you can understand there is dirt there is some kind of water stains as well here the glass is completely clean so uh, how it adds even here you can see like the detailing how it tries to add the details a little bit more and uh, you can see there are like uh, lockets and like chains and uh, almost every time lumiere would try to add a little bit more detail and that is that is the reason why i say that if you increase the steps a little bit like if you keep it 30 or 35 you are going to get amazing results because just because it tries to move towards more uh, detailing it's better if you give a little bit of more steps so they can like uh, you know uh, the output is proper and it does not feel uh, completely noised now i have provided this prompt here this is interesting because it was a cinematic shot of bogeyman scary and dark so you can see how the approach is uh, different for uh, both of them this uh, now the thing is both of them look actually very realistic but th this kind of feels more like cinematic like directly from a movie shot you know and this is something more uh, like obviously uh, movies also use these kind of shots as well but you can understand the, how the approach is a little bit different in both of these now coming back to these this is an image of a dragon in a battlefield so again you can see lots of details uh, things are like breaking away flying the eye you can see uh, lots and lots of details even if you zoom in you can see the texture of the skin of the dragon versus here this looks like like uh, you know very uh, i know there is some kind of a texture but it looks still very uh, even there is no randomness here you can see there are randomness so this is something 
and even here it always tries to add different uh, like textures even for the person who is going on you can see here and this so yeah again a pretty similar image with similar composition small details are being added the texture definitely improves over this this is too smooth this one is pretty amazing even with the hair you can see like these textures look pretty amazing as well yeah and same i generated another one so you can just see the textures of these soft toys and everything it always almost tries to add something extra and that's the thing also you can see the expressions are a little bit more realistic than these uh, uh, the flux always tends to go towards you know those big eyes and this is the thing when it comes to like uh, landscapes and scenery so uh, i do not find much of an advantage you can see almost both look pretty same so there is uh, obviously a change in the, the vegetation slightly and everything but because the composition is so similar and uh, here you can see the reflections and everything but uh, i think both of them look pretty amazing so if you want to leverage the main uh, way you can leverage it is with the portraits and creating realistic or cinematic shots so this was the whole like uh, overview of this model as well as the workflow i would like you to try uh, try different prompts and uh, use this workflow compare it and if you have any kind of suggestions you want to give because obviously this is the first time we are working on and this is the alpha version so if you have uh, any kind of suggestions anything any doubts just put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as i can yeah so thank you